Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. Now, we've all done it before. You get in a really big hurry, didn't break out your torque wrench. Your internal torque wrench isn't that accurate or worse than that. You're using one of these to assemble something. You're trying to get out the door, you reach over, pop them in, zip. You've destroyed your threads. Now, what are you gonna do? Well, you have a few choices. Either A, in this case, replace the cases. Not really an option that I want to go do. Two, you can go to the helical, been around forever. Or three, go with the time cert. Now on this one, I'm going to go ahead and painfully strip out two of them and then install the helical and the time cert. And then I'm going to let you decide which one you would want on your machine. So if you're ready, let's do it. So it kind of pains me to do this, but let's strip out some threads. <laughs> All the way down. Oops. Well, there's one. Go for number two. There's number two. It just doesn't feel right doing this. Doesn't even want to back out. Hmm. Nice thread you had there. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, we've done our damage, so let's get both of these installed. So let's start with our helical system. So with the helical kit, you have a guide, this tool that actually does the uh, insertion and the setting of the helical itself, and you've got a tap which is used to go ahead and put in the threads that the helical is going to attach to and then of course the drill bit necessary to drill this out. So let's start by getting it drilled out. Now you want to do this as perpendicular as possible. Next, let's use our tap to cut our threads. And the real trick with this is so you get it to tighten down, and when it starts to bind, back it off. That'll more or less cut the thread, and then you can keep going. Now, if it starts getting really tough, you may want to break out some cutting oil just to help it along a little bit. But this is aluminum shouldn't be that hard to deal with. Probably getting pretty close because we really don't need to put in more threads than are on the helicoil. That looks like it. Now, if this is a working engine in the frame, I would definitely go through the trouble to cover up all these areas to keep the shavings out. Next, we're going to use our guide and insertion tool to get it to go down into the threads. Now, we want them to end up in between a quarter and a half a turn below the surface. All right, we're getting close. That looks even. We'll go about a quarter turn more. All right, they're in. Now here's the trick. There's plenty of threads in there to hold this. The trick is if it needs to go past the end of the helical, it can't because there's a little tang sitting in there. And if they need to go past it, then you need to break that tang off. Otherwise, it's gonna bottom out against it. And what you need to find is a square edged punch that just fits inside the threads and then pop it loose. That got it. Now, Let's see if he'll go all the way in. Mm -hmm. There you go.
Now, let's do the time cert. Now, the time cert is a little bit more comprehensive. It comes with the time cert itself, which is a solid piece. It comes with the correct drill bit, the countersink, the threader, and then the insertion tool. So let's get it drilled out. Now the really cool difference here is with this countersink, it allows the time cert to go all the way below the level of the surface that you're working with. should do. Now let's get our threads cut. I think we bottomed out there. Looks like it. Feels like it. Yeah. The really cool part of the time cert with the insertion tool, it doesn't grab a tang or anything like that. The time cert is actually one piece, but it's tapered on the end, and as the insertion tool goes through it, it expands it down at the bottom, and that's what's gonna lock it in place. Now, if you still want a little bit more assurance, you can put a little bit of Loctite on the outside of the threads. The other thing that they do want you to do is put a, some oil on the insertion tool so it has an easier time going through the end of the time cert itself. Okay, let's go. All right, I see she's already almost bottomed out. And all we have to do is drive it just past. You can feel it got, there it goes. The end of the time cert, now it's going past it and it's about to bottom out against the case. All right, she is all the way down. Now we can back out the insertion tool. Well, all right, guys, there you go. The helical, yes, it'll work just fine for one-time use, in my opinion. But if you're going to be using it over and over again, like in an oil filter housing, especially in a, something as expensive as an engine case, I'd go with the time cert all day long. Peace of mind, I know it's gonna last. Helical, ooh, it'll get you out of a pinch, but for my money, I'm gonna spend the, spend the extra coin for the, uh, for the time cert. Well, listen, if you need any parts for your machine, why don't you come see us at partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. Have any questions or comments about this video? Leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And hey, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that way you can keep up with whatever I'm working on next. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Partzilla, and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.